So black culture in 2024 is basically trash. Yes, the so-called black culture has become a joke. And I'll give you more details in a few seconds real quick. My name is Ario Juiced from WokeNations.com. Be sure to check out this um, website to become part of our email list. That's where you can find the newsletter, the email newsletter on the website, WokeNations.com. I'll leave the, very, leave the link in the very bottom of this video or episode for this podcast. Yes, this is also a podcast. More information down below about WokeNations.com woke nations.com last but not least a special thank you and shout outs to our friends and sponsors at um, course careers which is a online tech sorry a online training program excuse me a online training program that has helped many people land a job a job in tech myself included i work as an it support specialist um, if you're looking to earn between 50k 50k to six figures plus Definitely check out more information about course careers. I'll leave the information at in the very bottom of this video and episode. Let's talk finally. So again, why do I think black culture in 2024 is a joke? Real quick, the reason why it is, it has become such, to me, it, be, it became e- a very irrelevant thing is that the ghetto so the so-called black ghetto American has basically hijacked black culture. And what do I mean by this? Black ghetto Americans have become the face of black culture in 2024, right? I hope that makes sense. Ghetto black Americans have become the face of this culture. And that's a problem, right? Because at some point, Black Americans were once the face of black culture. Maybe back in the 60s or the 1970s, they were the face of the culture. And the reason being they were the face is because there were more of them than the ghetto blacks, right? Back in those times, 60s and 70s, it was about marriage, raising your children, and to becoming good citizens, business owning, you know, being classy people, being critical thinkers, right? being responsible, being mature, that was black culture back then. And now it's the opposite, right? There's very little black Americans in 2024, and there's a bigger population of ghetto black Americans. I think I could speak for you and say that there's a bigger population of ghetto black people in America. And that's how they're able, that's how they are, or were able to hijack black culture because now there's more of them than black Americans. And what's crazy is this black Americans who are the responsible and mature individuals that they are, not to mention classy and successful, right? These people don't even claim ghetto black Americans. I'll say it again one more time black people don't even claim ghetto black people. If anything, they want nothing to do with them. They keep their distance from these people because most ghetto blacks are very immature and irresponsible individuals. That's part of their culture to be this way, right? And this is why the, the, the black American do not claim them. They may look alike, right? They may look alike in terms of their skin color. I get it. But I I promise you, there is a huge difference between the two. They're not the same people. They're not the same people based on their behaviors and also their goals in life. They're just not the same. And what's even worse, yes, there's something even worse than what I just mentioned. In America today, it is now cool to be ghetto. It is accepting, they celebrate it, they promote it, and they adopt it, the hood culture. It's cool to live in the ghetto. It's cool to raise your children in in these environments. It's cool to have some type of a record in terms of being arrested, right? It's cool to have a gun and and do bad stuff with it, robbing people, stealing cars. It's cool to be immature. It's cool to be irresponsible. That's the ghetto culture in 2024. 
And let's be clear, this, is, this, this applies to other ethnic groups. You have ghetto Hispanics too. Oh yeah. You have ghetto Caucasians, ghetto Asians, ghetto Indian people. That exists as well. But here's the difference with them than so-called black so-called black people. I don't even like calling people black or white, but I'll just use these terms because this is how we speak in 2024 and in past years. But so-called black people, they made a huge mistake by allowing the worst of them, right? Stay with me. They allowed the worst of them to become the face of black culture. Hope that made sense to you. Every ethnic group has the worst of them. You have the worst of Caucasians. Those happens to be the KKK people, you know, a lot of, again, I won't say all rednecks are terrible people, but a lot of them are racist. But let's, let's just say the racist Caucasians. You have the worst of these people. You have the trashy Caucasians that, 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 that exist. But for some reason, the worst of Caucasians are not the face of them. They're just not. The same thing applies to Asian people. The worst of them are not the face of the culture. It's just not. And you, and you know I'm right. When you, when you say Asian culture, you don't think of ghetto Asians, gold teeth, you know, I don't know, just terrible people. You think of, you know, people who are very much into education, right? Being married. Same thing applies to Indian people in 2024. You don't think of bad people. You think of people who are willing to go to school, have a family, respect their culture. You think of something positive, basically. When it comes to so-called black people in America, it's the worst because there's more ghetto people, now than ever, than the opposite. The worst of so-called black people in America, and not just talk about black Americans, the worst of them have become the face of everybody. Now it's cool to be ghetto. That's the culture for black culture. Ghetto. Ratchetness. Right? Look at the music. Look, look, look what's being promoted to you from media. Cardi B. Nicki Minaj. Megan Thee Stallion. Sexy Reds. That's what's being pushed. That's our Hour. That's the popular face of black culture. When you say black culture, you're really saying them. Sexy reds. And you know I'm telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. And that's a problem. That is a huge problem. Because the followers of Sexy Red are a bunch of ghetto people. Black Americans don't mess with that stuff. They just don't. Again, they're classy people. Black Americans are they're not the same as ghetto black. I'm telling you. This is why they they just have no interest and participating in hood culture. They don't want to steal cars and do donuts in the intersection, blocking traffic, right? Blocking traffic where people are trying to get home from work or go to work or pick up their kids from kid, or, or I'm sorry, or go pick up their children from school. They're trying to get somewhere safely. But you have a bunch of idiots doing freaking burnouts and donuts in a busy intersection. That's ghetto behavior. That's irresponsible people doing stupid things, criminal activity. But this is cool to do. This, this is accepting. This is, this, this is what's being promoted and it's okay to participate because it's, it's accepting. Back then in the 60s and 70s, I'm sure, I mean, I wasn't there back then, but I'm pretty sure it was unacceptable to behave immature and irresponsible as an adult, dark-skinned person or a black person. It was not accepted. It's embarrassing. Something's not right in your brain. Something's just not clicking correctly for you to behave this way. But when there's a whole swarm of people who are now ghetto and now everyone's pretty much has adopted that culture, it's hard to be, it's, it's almost hard to not to be part of it because it's accepting. It's like you want to be part of the cool kid crowd, right? You want to be part of the cool kid table. And in, in, in order to be a part of them, you have to be who they are, ghetto. Being the opposite is not cool anymore, which is being responsible and mature. So this is why I think black culture is dead in 2024. It's trash. It's a joke. It's filth. Because the ghetto has took control of it. 
When you say black culture, you're really saying ghetto culture because that is the face of black culture in 2024. Keep in mind why I am keep saying 2024. Keep in mind I am keep saying that because that is exactly what's taking place on earth. Back then, 60s, 60s and 70s, I'm sure the face was a very mature, classy, responsible, dark-skinned, classy person. I'm sure that was the face back then. I've seen how they dress. You can just go on Google right now and just type it in. You'll see how they dress. Very, very classy, modest, business owning. You know, all, it's all about family and raising your children to, to be like them but better. They're, they're not pushing their kids to become the opposite. They want their kids to be educated, speak well, good grammar. Good grammar. It's crazy that I'm seeing kids in today's world are going to college and they still come out with poor grammar. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's almost ridiculous, really. Right? But again, this is what's accepting. Poor grammar, like a Cardi B. It's cool to be like Cardi B. It's cool to be someone like her. It's cool to be just like her. It's cool to be a King Vaughn. It is. It's accepting. Sagging your pants all day. Smelling like weed every day. And I'm not against people that smoke marijuana, right? I don't see a problem with that. The issue is there's a way to do it with class. I don't have to smell you and smell weed, like hardcore weed on you. It's disgusting. It's just like the person that, that smokes a cigarette or a cigar. You smell. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a pleasant smell, right? You can do it. But no one needs to know that you smoke it. That's crazy. That should be a private thing that you do. But because they're ratchet and people are ghetto, they don't care. They, they smell like it. You know, clothes are hanging off their butts. You know, it, girls or women with bonnets in their hair walking around the freaking streets looking crazy. Just no class. No class at all. None. So... This is why I think black culture is dead. It, it, it has been hijacked by the worst of dark-skinned people in America. Somehow, some way, they allowed, and, now, and, when, and when I say they, because I don't see myself as a black person, I'm just Haitian. My parents are from Haiti, and they can tell the difference between the so-called black American and the so-called ghetto black American. They can tell the difference because they always taught my siblings and I to stay away from the black ghetto children because they're bad kids. If they're like this, that means their parents must be just as worse because that's who's raising them. But my parents could tell the difference. They want nothing to do with the ghetto black American. <laughs> they, they want nothing to do with these people because they're irresponsible and immature people. But again, to my point, I don't even call myself black. I want nothing to do with this culture. I, I don't care nothing about that culture. I'm from the Haitian culture, really. I'm sorry. I was born in Bahamas, raised by Haitian parents. So I'm from that world, Caribbeans, or just Bahamian Haitians. That's my culture. It really is. I don't know what this black culture is. I'm not. Anyway, that's my two cents on why I think black culture is a joke. It, it is trash. And if anyone can't see what I'm talking about, if, if I'm not saying you have to agree with what I'm saying, but I think you very much know what I'm talking about, and you can agree to some type, to, to some ex ex extent, that black culture has most definitely been changed into something so ghetto and ratchet, it's not even funny. Because sexy reds and all these Cardi B's type people are calling themselves black, and they're the worst of the so called black American culture. They're the worst of these people. And they're the ones representing them. That's insane. But let me get up out of here. I must talk to you again. More information down below about everything I just mentioned earlier. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for listening. And I'm out of here. Peace.